guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my top 10 OPIs for you. I'm going to start right at number 10 and go all the way down to number 1 so you can see exactly what my favorite 10 are in a top 10 order. I know a lot of people do a top 10, but they'll just do them in a random order. My number one that I'm showing you today is my number one OPI. It will always probably be my, my number one. It's been my number one for the last two years and has not been bumped out yet. So I think it's safe to say that it is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes. I wear it all the time. I love it. But we'll get to that at the end of the video because we're going to go from, from number 10 down to number one. So I'm going to get started off right away here. Um, my number 10 nail polish came out very, very recently. This is Rich Girls and Po Boys from the New Orleans collection that came out in the spring. I really do like this color. It is a beautiful blue. I think this year has been the, the year of OPI blues. There have been so many great blues this year. They've just been hit, hit them out of the park. Like there's this one and there was the... The uh, Fearlessly Alice from the Alice in Wonderland collection. And what else came out this year that was really, really nice? Sailing and Nailing was also a really great color. Like, they, he, they've been knocking it out of the park with the blues. I've really been really impressed. So this one's Rich Girls and Poe Boys from the New Orleans collection. Number nine, I have Stranger Tides, which was from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection that came out, I think, in 2011, 2010. Um, I really, really want Mermaid's Tear from this collection. I don't have it, unfortunately. That's one of my lemmings. But this one is great. Like, it looks just, it doesn't look like anything in the bottle. It looks like a murky green. But there's something about it when it's on your nails. It's, it, it, I don't know, I really enjoy wearing this in the fall. I'm not sure, was that collection a fall collection? I don't know, to be honest with you. But this, it, it's a great color. I really, really do like this color. So that's Stranger Tides by OPI. At number eight, I have a glitter. I really don't wear glitter very much because I hate removing glitter. I find it to be so so annoying and it takes a long time. And I, I finally started using a peel-off base coat, um, but still, I, I really dislike dislike removing it. So I have here, this is Teenage Dream from the Katy Perry collection. Uh, this was a very, very hard to find nail polish. It is still really, really hard to find. Um, I managed to pick this up at a nail salon in town. It was in their clearance bin. I picked this up for $5. I was so impressed with myself because this is going on eBay for about $40 last time I looked. So I use this a lot as an accent nail. I don't like to wear it by itself, but I do use it on my, on my uh, ring finger as an accent nail. So this is Teenage Dream by OPI. So at number seven, I have this beautiful, beautiful uh, purpley plum color. Now, OPI makes these in every collection, you're pretty much going to find a color like this. So it's nothing special, but it happens to be the first of this kind of color that I got from OPI. Therefore, it's my favorite, and it's Casino Royale. This is from the Skyfall collection, which was the James Bond collection a couple of years back. That whole collection was, was a great collection. I don't have the whole thing. I have majority of that collection, but not the whole thing. But like I said, this is a dime a dozen from, from OPI. So this is Casino Royale from the Skyfall collection. At number six, I have the only li liquid sands that I'm going to talk about today. This is from the Bond Girls collection, which was a separate collection from the, the from the James Bond collection. This is Jinx. So this is um, it's a textured polish, it's liquid sand. So this is a corally red color with a gold glitter throughout. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful when it's on your nails. It's, it's I don't know how to describe this. I'm really not sure how to describe this nail polish because it, it's just so beautiful. I like to, um, I saw somebody talk about, I think it was Just Face 90, about putting a holographic uh, top coat over top of the liquid sands to give it, a, give it an even better effect. I tried it a couple weeks ago with Jinx and it was absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend that. If you have something like um, China Glaze Fairy Dust and just put a coat of that over this, it's beautiful, beautiful 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 effect. So this is Jinx from the Bond Girl collection. At number five I have Venice the Party from the Venice collection back in last fall. This was one of the special edition colors from that collection. It is a gorgeous gorgeous like a foily blue kind of. It's it, uh, on the nails. It's absolutely stunning. I really 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 enjoy this color. I think if I can remember correctly it is a stainer though unfortunately. But, again, it is a beautiful, beautiful color. So this is Venice the Party from the Venice Collection. At number four, I have Sorry I'm Fizzy Today from the Coca-Cola Collection. I have that whole collection 
I love that collection. That it was when I start first started getting into collecting polishes. I started collecting polishes in 2014. So this was one of the first collections that I fell in love with the whole thing and pretty much and I bought the whole thing. I don't think I bought it all at once. I picked them up in little pieces. But yeah, this is one of the first ones that I picked up and I absolutely love it. It is a Carly orangey color. I wear this all the time in the summer. I love this color. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is Sorry I'm Fizzy Today from the Coca-Cola collection. And number three, I have my dog sled is a hybrid. This is from the Nordic collection of 2014, I think. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful green color. I was really hoping this was going to be a dupe for a mermaid's tear because I really want to get my hands on that nail polish. Unfortunately, it's apparently it's not. I don't have them to compare it to, but apparently it's not the same. This is my dog sled is a hybrid from the Nordic collection. At number two, I have my favorite pink of all time. If you watched my um, Confessions of a Nail Polish Addicts tag video, this was in that video also. This is um, Girls Love Ponies from the Mustang collection. As you can see from the top here, it's got the little Mustangs on it. This is my all-time favorite pink. It's my go-to pink. If I don't know what I want to wear, this is what I put on. I absolutely love this bright, 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 bright pink. It goes well. You can wear this all year round. Like It's, it's, it's a versatile color. I like pairing it with um, Teenage Dream as an accent nail. They're, they're, they go great together. So yeah, this is Girls Love Ponies from the Mustang Collection. And finally, at number one, my all-time favorite OPI. It's been in this spot for almost three years now, so I don't see it coming out, going out of that spot anytime soon. This is Coca-Cola Red, also from the Coca-Cola Collection that came out in 2014. It is just a beautiful, beautiful primary red color. Can't beat the formula. This is a one-coater. This is another one of those colors that if I have no clue what I want to wear, I'll grab this, put it on my nails, and I'll be happy. I don't have to worry about, do, is, the, is it got a good formula? Is it, you know, is it going to stay on my nails? I already know. It's got a great formula, one coater, and it's not going to stay on my nails. So this is Coca-Cola Red from OPI. So guys, that is my top 10 OPIs. Now, if you'd like to see me do another top 10 video for a different, for a different brand, please let me know what brand you'd like. And if I have enough to do a top 10 of that brand, I will do them. Um, I have a lot of KB Shimas, I have a lot of Zoyas, I have a lot of China Glaze, uh, A England, um, what else do I have? I have a lot, I have, I have a lot of Essies. So yeah, if you if there's something that you'd like to see me do a top 10 of, leave me a comment and I will, I will get around to doing that for you at some point. I'm gonna be doing a series of my top 10 favorite purples, my top 10 favorite blues, that kind of a collection in the coming months. So just keep an eye out for those coming up. So yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much, bye. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I have... Hi. Do you have lipstick on? I have lipstick on, yes. And so do you now. It's this lipstick. Pink? Yeah. Alright, can you go back downstairs because mommy's busy right now, please. Come on, back downstairs, please. Why? Why are you putting the nail polish? <coughs> this is uh, Casino Royale from the Sky Club. Stop. It's nothing special, but I do really enjoy this. And my battery is about to die. Me. There, I'm sure there are even dupes in their own. In their own collect, in their own. <clears throat> Excuse me. At number five, oh, focus, focus. So this is my dog sled is a hybrid. So this is. The, so this is my dog sled is a hybrid. Stop looking at yourself. So this is your dog. 